see a while ago the Clippers prepared for the task at hand. Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And one of the players will be seeing in this one, Clutch. And he's one play the basket. He's really crafty the way he can blast his way straight through traffic. He was really strong. From a win against Portland. Well, Kevin, they constructed a, a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was a quickly stopping. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. Here's Leonard. After the main shot from Clutch. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So the basket. Now, here's Collison. Averaging six points per contest. Barnes, he's covered by Leonard. Here's Clutch. And another three for the Clipper. The feed to right. Six on the shot clock. And Parker, here we go. Another shot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. This one. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Guys, I caught up with post players ever to play the game and Tim Duncan. Coach told me that even though Timmy isn't as physically gifted as he once was, he is still a handful to deal with. He said a lot of people forget this, but Tim Duncan is one of the smartest players to ever play and always makes the right decision. By Tim Duncan. He kicks to Barnes. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Clutch the pass to Collison. Feeds to Griffin. Here's Clutch from deep. The pass to Jordan. Second shot opportunity. The shot's good from Clutch. Ginobili dishes to Park. The 19-foot shot. Another one falls for San Antonio. Passes it to Clutch. There's the dish to Griffin. He feeds it to Jordan. And he converts the layup. Very positive opening. Ginobili up top. Just five on the clock. It's taken away by Collison. Now the Clippers moving it up. This is to Jordan. And that is good. Kicks to Parker. Back to Ginobili. Outside Leonard. Fires from deep. That falls. Nice feed that time for Mario Ginobili. Leonard's got five points so far. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. The three from Barnes, and the basket good. Angeles leading by nine. Collison, pass to Clutch, shoots it again, Los Angeles. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. San Antonio's gone, one of three from beyond the arcs. Six to shoot, tries to save it. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Throws down off the coast to post try. Oh boy, nice. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Here's Parker, and he banks in the lane. Parker's got six. How about that nice one-two punch? And the pass to Lloyd. Here's Clutch, covered by Duncan. Goes up off the pick, and he slams it one-handed. Well, a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor and the big guys because he can thwart penetration just with his active hands. I mean, his feet are good, but it's the active hands that dissuade passes inside. Oh, that's blocked. Ginobili, that's good. Back to Collison. Here's Clutch. Passes it to Lloyd. Now the feed to Barnes. Knocks down the three ball. And it's looked like they're about to turn the corner, but they just haven't been able to sustain that winning momentum. And I'm not quite sure why that is, because I think they've got the talent to be among them. Jump over 50% for the ball game. Pass to Crawford. Here's Clutch, covered by Monroe. Clutch the pass to Griffin. Good. And the Clippers lead by seven. Now Griffin inside. Tries again. They shoot again. The shot's good from Clutch. 
Joseph dishes to Dunkel. The pass to right, defended by Clutch. Fades. The shot is good. I like that, Kevin. It just shows that he can bring some of that X factor for his team. Crawford passes to Clutch. Dishes to Barnes. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Barnes is in. He may just be getting warmed up here. Joseph with the ball, and Crawford picks him up defensively. And that one's good by Butler. Boy, after having a tough time in the... Ginobili with the ball. Averaging 13 points a contest. One second left. Rejected by Clutch. And so that's the end of the first half. Clippers lead by 10. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And everything is in place and ready to go on the halftime show for this Wednesday night. The Los Angeles Clippers in front against San Antonio. They're sitting in that last seed for the playoffs and could use a win to help them stay on the bubble. Clutch putting on a clinic against the Spurs. He's got 16 points and is putting out the effort defensively as well, making his presence felt on both ends of the floor. And this dedicated Spurs team is weathering the storm. The second chance buckets certainly adding up in this one. They pounded the offensive glass. Kawhi Leonard with some valuable contributions. His shooting percentage hovering right around 50%. It's awfully good. Heads and tails. And that's it for us here in the studio. Time to send it on back out to Kevin Harlan and the gang for the start of the second half. Clutch an impressive effort here today. Yeah, the defensive effort and intensity has been fantastic. And you can tell he's really inspiring his team with this play. There, his emotion and his production. He's been patrolling the court, blocking shot after shot out there. And he's really made a statement with his defensive effort. Leonard and Los Angeles has gone 7 of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. The shot by Collison. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. And uh, San Antonio shooting 43% from the field. Ginobili with the ball. Now defended by Clutch. From downtown, San Ginobili. Hit. Collison, the pass to Clutch. Kicks it to Griffin. Duncan on him. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Now the pass to Clutch. Now Griffin in oh, yeah. Pass to Clutch. Six to shoot. Now Griffin inside. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finish. And Steve, some of the best highlights you're ever going to see. And the Spurs making a change here. Butler's checked in. Collison, the pass to Clutch. Griffin, defended by Butler. Here's Clutch. Connects from three-point range. Basket when all is said and done. And if you look at those shooting numbers that you just talked about, Clark, well, that makes this team really difficult to defend. They're getting smart off it. Back to Callison. He passes to Clutch. Griffin is in engine over. Feeds it to Barnes. And there's the pass to Clutch. Collison shoots from the baseline. And Griffin scores. The assist by Collison. And he's got eight. To the middle and that one's good right there's clutch ellen ellie is covering four on the shot clock pass to crawford from about 19 feet that's good right against collison pass to clutch parker with the steal and a fast break now for the spurs parker leading the charge green kicks to parker the nine-foot shot, and he hits the jump shot. Parker's got four points now in the quarter. Well, you know, he has shot. Parker against Crawford. It's Parker with the drive. He feeds it to Bellinelli. And it's good in the assist by Parker. And now, just a outside. Here's Clutch. A shot, no good. Some solid defense from Butler. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And Green tighten up their game at both ends. Clutch the pass to O'Neal. Clutch. Bellinelli is covering. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. With the shot. 
Shots good from Clutch. Clutch for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain it. Here's Green, averaging six points per contest. That's good. And of course, Jamal Crawford, down a few spots. Another player who can hurt you from the free throw. And this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact because if they can get to the bucket and the foul, it's an automatic three point. Clutch, Bellinelli is covering. There's Crawford with the three, and that one's good. Crawford with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Clutch the pass to Crawford. Malone, left side, all sorts of time, count that one. The Clippers grab the miss. Clutch has got his sixth rebound on the night. With the lead pass, Crawford gets a screen from Clutch. Crawford, no luck. Well, he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested, that really made it a tough shot. Joseph, smooth as silk on the finger roll. Man, his man. Malone outside. Is it to clutch? The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Clutch has got seven points here in this quarter. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. Poked away and stolen by Barnes. He dishes it to Crawford. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed. Six seconds left to play in the third. Here's Clutch. Got it off in time, but it's no good. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top, up six. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. Outside Collison. Feeds it to Barnes. Pass to Clutch. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Back to Griffin. And that one's good. And the Clippers lead by nine. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Ginobili with the ball. And now by Barnes. Leonard, the pass to right, and he dumps it down. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and do it. Clippers with the ball. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Lock at six. Back to Jordan. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Now, in the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. Clutch the pass to Griffin. Parker with the steal. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Well, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Gets it to go. And now... Advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Here's Duncan. Another one falls for San Antonio. Jumper. Yeah, he knows exactly how to use his size to his advantage there. Back to Griffin. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, shaking. Your exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Martin? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense. That's for sure. Here's Parker. And it's San Antonio whiffered by Ginobili. Down to five on the shot clock. Griffin a screen on Ginobili. Here's Clutch. And it's good. The time running down. It's in a row, and they've all been practically laying. Yeah, they've got to harden and toughen up down there, guys. Here's Duncan, and another basket to San Antonio. By Leonard, is checked in for San Antonio. Off the inbound pass. The shot's good from Clutch. Jordan's got his sixth rebound on the night. He kicks it to Collison. And the pass to Clutch from past the arc. That ball's great assist by Darren Collison. It's rebounded by Clutch. Clutch has got his seventh rebound here tonight. 
Puts up a three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Did you know? Knocked away. Pass to Clutch. Here we go. One on one. And that one is stuffed right through. Unbelievable. Clark, what about the hang time? Oh, You're talking damn. about hang time. That fella had helium in those shoes. <laughs> well, if you're going to pull off the 360, you better have hang time. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Boy, he just battled through that initial impact and somehow willed it in. Excellent concentration. The dish now to Collison. Right side, Griffin. Pass to Clutch. Launches a three. And another three for the Clippers. The last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointers. Parker passes to Ginobili. Right here, right here. And he uses the glass on the way up. Ginobili's got 13 points in the second half. Well, it's been a tail. Here's Clutch, covered by Parker. The pass to Clutch pulls up. That falls. Great assist by Darren Collison. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Now, here is Monroe, defended by Clutch. Another steal. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They double him with Green. Clutch, the pass to O'Neal. Puts the lead pass and... Oh, 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 this is going to be a great game for them. No win on the road comes easy in the NBA. Nice performance. Any player loves sending his own fans home happy. He loves even more sending opposing fans home miserable. Here's Joseph. The 18-footer is right on the mark. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, Clutch. Not sure you even realized it, but tonight's game marked your first career triple-double. How did you feel out there tonight? Yeah, I was feeling it all game long. Uh, but most importantly, my teammates kept getting it done too. You can't get a triple-double without plenty of help from the other guys around you. And they were making things happen all game long. It was really nice to see my game at such a high level. And now for my next act, <laughs> trying to figure out how to do it all again.